Hi, um, today in this lecture I just want to go over some of the new terms and concepts that we have introduced in this module and make sure that everybody's comfortable with them. Some of these terms and concepts have been incorporated into the previous lecture videos and some of them are from the reading, but I just wanted to make sure that you feel comfortable with these terms and concepts because we're going to be using them moving forward. So the first one is market equilibrium, and in this module we have learned how to find market equilibrium graphically and how to solve for it in a mathematical model. Just remember that the definition of market equilibrium is a point at which a market is at rest where supply and demand are equal at the same price. And the key here is that in market equilibrium there are no shortages and there's no excess supply. So there's no pressure for the price to change, so we're sort of at rest. And the important thing to remember is that market equilibrium can be found in any graph or any mathematical model, but it may take time in real life for us to reach market equilibrium. So what we're looking for is what is the point of market equilibrium, but a market may take a little time to iterate towards equilibrium. So it's not that all markets are always going to be in equilibrium, but the idea is that once we get to equilibrium, the market would stay there unless there was some sort of shock that then moved it out of that equilibrium and we'd have to transition to a new equilibrium. When we depict market equilibrium in a graph, I often will use an asterisk. So it'll be uh, market equilibrium price will be P star and market equilibrium quantity will be Q star. Same thing in a mathematical model. That's just to help us sort of recognize what those um, points are. It's not necessary. So if you look at other textbooks or in other classes, they may not use that same convention, but that's the convention I'll use in this class. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me on that. All right, next point is efficiency. Now, efficiency is something that has lots of different definitions, um, but in economics, efficiency is really um, a situation where we are using the resources in the economy in a way that maximizes the total amount of surplus in the economy. And so what we've been talking about so far is consumer and producer surplus. Right? Consumer surplus is the difference between a consumer's willingness to pay for an item and then the price they actually pay. So it's the gain that they get from making a trade. And producer surplus is the difference between the price that they receive for an item and the opportunity cost to them of producing or providing that item. It's similar to profit, but it's not the exact same thing because it's really the difference between price and marginal cost and profit is going to take into account fixed costs. 